Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I wanted to take you through my purchase experience and first impressions of my new La Afshar Adele clutch. Now, I have not seen any videos on this particular piece and as I said, I still, in my unboxing, I still can't remember where I first came across this brand, but I do remember just going was it on Farfetch? Maybe I first discovered it on Farfetch and thought I really like the idea of those bags and then I went from Farfetch to the website. In any case, um, I was so excited to discover something that I hadn't heard much about and I really loved the compelling story of the designer. So this video is going to be a little bit of what fits how you can wear it, um, some initial pros and cons, uh, my buying experience from direct from La Afshar versus having bought, say, from Farfetch in the first place and why I chose to do that, um, where you can buy these bags, where you might be able to score a discount and, yeah, overall first impressions. So a little bit about Lillian, the founder and creative director. She originally studied to become a ready-to-wear designer and it wasn't until the presentation of her graduating collection from Esmed in 2013 did she realize the conceptualization of the signature box clutch. An avid believer that a woman needs nothing more than a few essentials to get by, her designs remain compact, contemporary and always ladylike, following the philosophy that less is more. Drawing on her upbringing as a British-born Iranian who moved in around a lot from London, Vancouver, Marbella to Dubai, Lillian's aesthetic is inspired by her travels and love of art. Now, the brand itself um, effortlessly unites the worlds of art, architecture and accessories with its contemporary handcrafted designs made in Dubai. Vintage perfume bottles, architecture and design influence the creations that come out of La Afshar brand's timeless collections. Luxurious yet industrial, the brand aesthetic is precise and considered, defined by modern silhouettes and compact sizes, conceptualised to hold the bare necessities, the ambition of the brand is to cater to today's woman. So I started reading it and I went through the website over and over again and to be honest it was really hard to make a decision on which one that I wanted. I looked at Farfetch um, but I think when you first buy from a brand, in my opinion, um, I want to have the full experience that the brand has to offer because I feel like that's your first kind of taste of a brand. And so to buy through a third party, I didn't want that to be my first experience um, of, first experience, you notice I say that, of buying um, La Afsha. So effectively these are Lucite clutches so acrylic resin clutches with 24 karat plated brass hardware whether it's gold or silver the chains on these are absolutely phenomenal like they are i mean i'm not a huge fan of gold but i just think this beautiful clear version needs gold to really just show the sparkle even more i have not polished this it's just been in its dust bag and that is natural light just bouncing off it empty. Um, it'd be quite the flex to say that your essentials were literally nothing and carry an empty bag around, which is kind of what you do with the teeny tiny little bags. So I've taken you through the detail in the unboxing, but I'll just do a quick overview again. So we've got the gold on the bottom and then inside you can see that there's a magnet at the top. And this is probably one of the downfalls. I don't believe this magnet is big enough or strong enough for the weight of this bag. Because as you can see, the thickness of the actual sides of the bag is quite thick. And that goes all the way around, plus the actual um, main part of the bag on both sides. And so to close that um, means that the magnet stays shut for a little bit. But if you add the weight of the chain, if I flick that around the other side, it will pop open so that's probably one of the cons um, and then obviously inside you have got the beautiful detailing of the branding on the base there and also I'm going to say it's a scarab beetle I haven't really looked but you can see the engraving just here as well and it's on all of the branding now in terms of the unboxing experience there are a few things that I thought were really beautiful touches 
all of the branding is consistent there was no ribbon but a beautiful matte black box really clean and fresh with the beetle on the front and just the branding in very very fine beautiful modern print and then the box itself is magnetized with a little home for your bag to live in and obviously the ribbon helps you to lift the bag up it was packed in um, bubble wrap and a sealed bag so it had actually been vacuum sealed and then inside there's a little care card on how you take care of the bag the bag also came with its own little polishing cloth again um, this would be kind of similar to sunglasses I suppose and would come in really useful um, to give the bag a little polish before you head out um, I haven't used it yet because we haven't been out together yet this beautiful velvet bag um, which is very thick uh, and that is what the chain strap came in and I should say that you could pick this bag which is the Adele regular size there isn't a Dell mini um, with the gold chain or like a resin acrylic chain as well which is something that you can also buy aftermarket which is also a great option and then you have the little dust bag as well which is a really lovely kind of fabric on the inside it's just kind of silky smooth and again really lovely branding on it one thing that's a little bit extra is the fragrance I'm sniffing a dust bag the fragrance the fragrance on the dust bag and also the polishing cloth I don't know what it is I've sent a DM um, to them just before I film this video and hopefully they respond to me and I'll pop it in the description box below but I want to know what that fragrance is because it's divine so this bag um, has a removable strap obviously and it attaches on these little d-rings on the top and they don't look out of place when they don't actually have the strap on them either, which is also great to know. So I chose this one because I thought I'll start with clear and then, you know, if I want to pop a color and I really like the bland, the bland, the brand, then I might purchase another color later on. I didn't buy this as an evening bag. I bought it as a unique piece but I feel like I would use this for evening, but given that it's clear, I would also use it for the day as well um, I will actually insert if I've still got them some of the mod shots of when I first got it and I'm wearing it with jeans and a blazer as an example so I'm going to take the chain off just to um, show you what fits inside and the different combinations of items then I'm going to take you through my purchasing experience and if I'd recommend buying directly from La Afsha or potentially trying some other third parties um, in terms of purchasing one of these bags if that's something that you want to do. So in my unboxing video I put my phone inside. This is an Apple iPhone 13. This is a standard size. Usually I'm a plus size girl but I took a hit on my phone size because of my luxury handbag addiction and decided that it was best for me to just you know get a standard size phone and so far it's working. The mini did not work for me at all. Um, a pro does not fit inside of this bag so a pro max size sorry does not fit in this bag i've got a chanel card holder this is what again i put in when i did my original unboxing and a chanel lipstick and i can put those in and they fit quite easily so that is your basics really i'm going to leave the phone in and just show you with some other small leather goods and some other lip products so here I have a Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. This is a really special one from Virgil um, with the mirror finish. So I can pop that one in and let's go with this gorgeous MAC lipstick. And again, that fits very easily. So if you're someone that carries a pocket organizer, that would be a great option for you. If you want to take a key holder, I've got a Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. Um, and this one fits cards behind it as well so it kind of works as a compact wallet so you can pop your cards in the back of the keys there so that one again will fit and you could possibly put two lip products in like so close it up it fits really really easily another option just to show you um, and I don't think that it actually works well to the bags um, 
benefit but is a compact wallet so this one you would obviously be carrying a lot more cards and bits and pieces because of the zipper on the top of this Bottega Veneta one it is a tight squeeze but if I turn the wallet around so that the zipper sits underneath the buckle I can kind of press it in to that section there right I can kind of press it in go go and then it will close okay but um, you can see there the magnet is affected so it's not it's not necessarily going to be a tight fit but as long as you hold it closed it will fit a compact wallet it won't fit a Chanel classic card holder it's too rounded with your phone at the same time I mean it does you've just got to hold it shut you can see there on the side so maybe I'll take that back and say it does fit but it won't stay closed you'd have to just hold it like that I've got just a very slimline card case key holder from Louis Vuitton from a few years ago so it's kind of like a hard-sided suitcase right when you open it up it has a shallow inside here and on the other side and you can see how the lipstick sits there so it's about as thick as a standard lipstick so as long as you've got two pieces that don't kind of infringe on each other they stick squarely in their side then they will fit okay so there we go and you know it's nice to kind of have your phone um, on the inside so that strangers can't read your messages the final option that I wanted to try was my little Fendi monster um, what do you call that little pouch we'll call it a pouch and that one will just sit inside as well and that's a bit of fun having the monster eyes looking back at you too so a great way to play around with your small leather goods and also your beautiful lipsticks because they really get picked up inside of this little clutch so primarily I feel like I'd use this clutch handheld or on the shoulder I have um, had some questions from you guys around whether or not it works crossbody not for me with this length chain so I've just attached the chain there and I will insert some mod shots of me wearing it on the shoulder and crossbody for you to have a look at so that you get the idea of where it sits on me and for reference I'm 166 centimeters and an Australian size 14 okay so buying direct from La Afsha was a great experience. I purchased online. I paid via PayPal. So I purchased the bag for 950 US dollars direct from La Afsha, and that included, I think, a $20 shipping fee. It was 930 was the recommended retail price. Now, PayPal converted that to 1385 Australian dollars, so that gives you a bit of a rough estimate. So it's not a cheap bag at all, but it is a lot more affordable than the $45,000 Louis Vuitton alternative that I was considering. Now, here's where I got stung. I made the order on the 17th of February 2022, and then I got a message from DHL saying you need to pay duties on this as well. So $13.85, I'm like, well, I was happy to pay that. $302, I got stung for duties, $302.31. So that was quite, made the bag a bit more of an investment than what I'd otherwise planned for it to be. And I, I guess I just assumed that duties would have been included like they are with a lot of um, third parties, but they weren't. And I received the bag on the 24th of February. So that was only, you know, just a week really um, between purchase and receipt through DHL. So if it wasn't for the duties, um, I'd say that that whole process was really quick and efficient and carefree and no worries at all, quite pleasant. Another con though is those duties. So if you're in Australia and I'm not sure if you're outside of the United Arab Emirates, you're probably going to be stung with duties as well. Which takes me to my next point. Um, is buying direct worth it for the duties payment compared to say buying through Farfetch or another department store online where the duties may be included? I think you need to make up that decision yourself. I think now that I've had the direct experience, I 
would feel more confident to purchase through a third party because I know what the product is. Dale here. The other reason I would purchase through a third party is they are more likely to have better returns policies than what La Afshar do direct. Um, they don't offer returns to international buyers, only local buyers. I would say that wearing this crossbody, um, there might be a concern that the bag might open up because of that weaker magnet, but actually it doesn't. It's actually more secure crossbody than it is on the shoulder because it's against your body and it keeps it shut. So overall, I am really happy that I have taken the plunge to buy something really different and fun and unique and all of the things um, I'd like I'd be interested to look at more and I think Autumn Beckman shared a discount code on Nordstrom which I think Australians would still get stung with duties anyway but you could get up to $200 off if you spent over a certain amount so definitely look these up in um, places where you normally shop if you're interested because you might be able to get a code or something and I know that there was 15% off these just after I bought mine for a week Oh well, it happens, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with it and I think that it will be a part of my rotation. I think it's just something a bit different. I don't think it fits summer or winter, evening or daytimes. I think it's a bag that you can wear anytime and it's just a bit of something different. Can I just show you how beautifully cut in this texture is? Like, It is absolutely stunning the work on this and you can tell that they have these handmade finishes they're just beautiful so i hope you found this little video um helpful interesting i say i hate doing first impressions and review videos but this one i've actually quite enjoyed because of the absolute beauty and novelty of this piece that i think is really unique um particularly on youtube these days so Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're interested. If you've got any more questions, pop them down in the comments below. It's been a pleasure sharing this new purchase with you and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.